I spent too much of my life thinking I should be like somebody else. And I am not a people person. I happen to be a task and a project and a design type person. I wasted some time in my life where I thought I must not be what God wanted me to be because I'm not a people person. And I see, and instead of making the connection that I serve people by doing tasks and then having freedom and doing living in what God created me to be. And instead, the Satan wants to say, ha ha, you're not like this guy over there, so you must not be filled with the Holy Spirit. My supposition is that when Bezalel woke up in the morning, he was thinking about building a table, and that brought him joy. And the connection was, yes, God was going to use that to build a whole tabernacle and have caused worship. But his task was to build that table today and have joy in it, celebrate it. Quit worrying about that you're not thinking about the whole temple. In the last five to seven years, I have really grown to the point where being close enough to God to listen to His Holy Spirit is real to me. I don't know why it took me so long. I've been a man of faith all along and wanted to obey God, but to really get to the point where I listen and think, what do you think about this, God, before I do something else? That's taken me forever, and I, I still only bat about 500 on it. But that would be the first thing, is work on your relationship with God and don't wait till you get out of the military to do it. So close to him that when you get out, you've got that leading in you, to that guidance, that insight that only he can provide. The second thing I would say is the military trained you, you're in there and good at something. And whether it's setting objectives or whatever you're trained on, I really am a firm believer God wastes nothing. I'll talk to people in prison and they've been there for 20 years and they're getting out and they just are so down because their life has been wasted in their view. And I said, God doesn't waste anything, never, nothing. And not one atom escapes this universe. It can't, matter can neither be destroyed or, so their lives, the question is what can God do with that life they've had? That 20 years in prison gives them an asset to do something that I can't do. 20 years in the military does give you something that I can't do because I didn't have it. And it may be ministering to other people in the military. It may be, I don't know what, but those are two things, the inner relationship with God. And then secondly, take a real inventory of what skills and what passions have emerged from your learning of being in the military for 20 years and figure out how to leverage those.